All right, here we are now with an author from the Carolinas. This is Rich Conley, and he is here to talk about Bloodline Detective, this fantastic book. Rich, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. What we need to set up is sort of how this all started. I know you were orphaned at birth, you were adopted, and then you sort of went on this journey to find your identity. What age did that start, and what was this journey all about? It, it, it was always a hidden desire to find out what my roots were, who did I look like, where did I come from. But when I was in my early 30s, I was experiencing some stressful health issues. And all during my uh, life, even in the Marine Corps, they asked me, do you have a history of this, of that? And I had no background. So what I did, I applied to the state and some agencies, no help whatsoever. So Bloodline Detective is based on an individual finding his biological roots with a first name only before the internet. Ironically, my biological mother had me at age 37. I met her for the first time when I was 37 years old. Oh my goodness, so it took you your whole life to find her basically. It did, but the search that I put together and went forward on was less than two years. I love that. You really put your mind to it and you figured this out. And again, I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to miss that he only had his mother's first name. How do you even go about a search like that? It was the Paul Drake of Perry Mason, they called me. <laughs> they said, uh, here's her age and here's her, here's her name, and that's all. Wow. The characteristics of my biological father and mother fit into what I look like, the hair color, the eyes, and so forth. And that got me to open Pandora's box. Unbelievable. Now you're working on your second book. This is Bloodline Detective One. You're looking at the cover right there. The second book is going to be out next year. What's that one all about? Well, since I started or th this book was completed, I found another, another sister. No. A biological blood related sister. I grew up 12 miles from her. We've talked five times and I'll be I'll see her for the first time probably in about two weeks. Oh, wow. I have found in the 90s and forward that I found so many people that we either disappeared, like my adopted brother, his kids, and so forth. I must be a magnet or just very curious. I won't let go until I find these people. Wow. Now, Karen, my new sister, it's going to be ironic. There's an extended family. My small family is now so big, and yet there's acceptance on all sides. And what is it like to have real, a big family now? I think the most heartening thing was, as you probably saw in the book, when I first met Janie, my sister, uh, bi bi biological sister, we didn't, she didn't know if I was for real. Uh -huh. So when we pulled up the cars next to each other, she rolled her window down, I rolled my down. She looked at my face and cried. And I says, are you upset? She goes, no, it's in the eyes. Uh -huh. Nobody in the family has my mother's eyes. And she says, you walked in with them. Unbelievable. She said, you have to be for real. That was a token of acceptance for a cup of coffee immediately that lasted four and a half hours. Unbelievable. I'm so happy for you that you have found family and that your you know, book is so successful. Is there a message you want readers to take away? This is, uh, I found in doing this, I found it was a great blueprint for so many people seeking out their roots their, uh, their life's beginnings. I've even sent a letter to Dr. Mai Haley, Alex Haley's uh, widow, and she had outstanding um, reviews about the book. But I think there's so many hidden in the background that would like to know more, mm -hmm. but don't have the avenue, desire. The internet is good, but you have to feed so much information in that. Bloodline Detective took me at my will to find, and I think you, be ready for disappointment, but don't let it stop you. I like that. That is a great message. This is a fantastic book. I did read it. I recommend it. Bloodline Detective. And again, he's from the Carolinas. We've got to support our local authors. So, thank Rich, you. thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Our me. Pleasure. It's my pleasure. Our pleasure.